these Lance Mountain Jordan 1 SB Quick Strikes really inspired me to pick up two pairs of shoes that I sold about a year ago. We all know as sneaker collectors, there's nothing worse than having sold off a pair or maybe two pairs of shoes that we wish that we still had. And ever since I picked these shoes up on the day that they came out, on June 14th, 2014, I immediately started thinking of these pairs of shoes that came out 11 years ago in 2003. But before we do this unboxing that came all the way from Japan, come on up here and let's do a brief review on the Lance Mountain Jordan 1 SB Quick Strikes. So these are actually the second and third pair of Jordan 1 SBs to come out this year. We got the first pair in the middle of March. They're all black. Actually, they're black and iridescent green, and they're not nearly as cool as these two pairs that came out on June 14th, three months later. We've got the black on black pair and the white on white pair, but when you look at them, the shoes don't actually match the colorways on the boxes. Of course, Nike just went with black on black and white on white like they always do. But when we look closely at these shoes, we can see that the black on black have hints of blue and of red. And same thing with the white on white. These shoes are mismatched and they pay homage to the early skateboarding days in the 1980s when skaters bought shoes and mismatched them and painted them to customize. These shoes actually have a very faint light layer of paint covering the uppers and as you skate in them or wear them or even breathe on them, the paint starts to crumble away and they begin the customization process. Very, very cool concept and a very amazing idea on these pairs of Jordan 1 SB Quick Strikes. Now the retail price on these shoes was an inflated $150, which is $10 more than what brand Jordan is charging for the Jordan 1 OGs, but it's definitely worth it. They come in these cool two-tone blue and black boxes. There's paper inside that says paint shoes, not walls. The same graphic is on the insole of the shoes. These are not the first pair of Nikes that get customized by peeling away the upper. In 2011, we had two amazing pairs of SBs, the Cheech and Chongs, which celebrated 420 but were eventually pushed back to Cinco de Mayo. They look like a joint that's being smoked. And there was also another pair of SBs from 2011, the Statue of Liberty. And they change color just like the Statue of Liberty turns from that green green to sort of a copper and the same thing happens with the dunk sbs but let's go all the way back to 2003 with these pairs as i unbox this package from japan i sold these shoes off a year ago and have been regretting it ever since and as soon as these shoes came out the lance mountains i was all over trying to get these back fortunately i found them on ebay and bought them from a seller that i've been buying shoes from for many years as I tear open this amazing box. What we have in here are two pairs of 2003 Vandals. And the theme with these shoes was vandalism. And they're called tearaways. And the uppers of the shoes are just like these Lance Mountain Jordan SBs in the sense that they tear away and reveal a completely different upper. Although in the case of these Vandals, you actually need a knife or an X-Acto blade to cut them up, whereas with these Jordan SBs, all you have to do is wear them. So here's the blue pair. These came out as a set. There's the blue ones, and then there's a pair of medium olives that we're gonna get to. Funny story about these two vandals. When they came out, nobody had any idea that they tear away or that there was anything special about them. And these shoes actually hit the outlet stores. I was in San Ysidro at my local outlet store and they had a rack of blue ones and a rack of green ones and they were just $39.99. And as I was in the store, there were these two Japanese kids that were buying them up, as many as they could buy. And I was looking at the shoes and I remember picking it up and staring at it and thinking, that's cool, pinstripe, seer sucker, but having no idea what was so cool and special about the shoes. I went online that night, started searching for the style number and color code, looking up Nike Vandal and Vandal Supreme, and eventually I found out that these two shoes are a collaboration with Jeff McFetrich, an artist, and they're known as tearaways. And you would take a knife or a blade and sort of cut around and peel 
peel away and it reveals completely different graphics. Come over here and have a look at these shoes. I'm not about to start tearing them up or customizing them because once you do that, they'll never go back to their beautiful, true OG form. But anyway, I was looking at the shoes at the outlet, $39.99, and I passed on them because I really didn't think that there was anything that special about them. Then that night, I found out online that they were super duper special. I went back to the store, and the goal was to buy them all. And unfortunately, when I got to the store, they were already all gone. How ironic that about 10 years later, I'm going on eBay and buying them from Japan when at the store in San Ysidro on the US-Mexico border, I was there watching these two Japanese kids buy up all the shoes. I mean, geez, these two shoes could have started out at that same outlet where I was 10 or 11 years ago. Anyway, it's been a real pleasure walking you through the Jordan 1 SB Quick Strikes and comparing them with these Vandal Supremes.